I decided to come to Rochester actually during my junior year of high school. I was planning to stay home and uh, do medicine there, but uh, I decided to go into biomedical engineering and or neuroscience uh, my junior year. I decided to come to Rochester first of all because I was very interested in studying music and Eastman School of Music was a huge plus for me. There was a lot of things I did take away after my college visit here, uh, but I definitely love the campus. I also like the open curriculum. I really enjoy the local culture and the community that was built within this campus. Rochester is one of the top research universities uh, in the U.S. and it ranks very high all over the world, which means that uh, the students are very smart, the professors are uh, world-class research scientists, and that of course puts a lot of positive pressure on the student to excel at his abilities. I was going to completely ignore the University of Rochester having not heard of it before, but at the time I was actually reading uh, Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte, and I'm the kind of girl who falls in love with fictional characters. Uh, I fell in love with Mr. Rochester, and so I decided to click on the link. Um, instead of finding a backup school or just like a medium school that I wanted to apply to, I pretty much in inspired to um, apply here as my first choice school. I feel like at the beginning of orientation, everyone was a little nervous, everyone was a little insecure. Before orientation, my impression of Rochester was definitely very tailored. Before orientation, I just thought, oh, this is a pretty campus, maybe I'll like it. But after orientation, I was absolutely 100% sure that this was the perfect school for me. And I think orientation was the first time that um, you know a lot of my expectations were sort of filled in with specific experiences. I was able to realize that it's a very warm and welcoming community with all the help that the orientation volunteers and the various staff and faculty have been able to do. I guess the thing that surprised me the most was the cold weather. Well, I expected it to be really cold, but nothing like this. I hadn't really experienced this extreme cold before. Being from Jamaica, freshman year was the first time I actually saw snow other than on TV. It's not something that really deterred me away from the college at all. Uh, I actually embraced it. I love skiing, I love snowboarding, uh, and got out to go and do a lot of winter sports. It surprised me when I first came to Rochester that I realized it takes almost seven hours to get to New York City. What surprised me the most was, I guess, the campus itself, the architecture of the university. It's a very old university and I was really impressed by the, um, the old style uh, slash Greek architecture. It was really majestic and, you know, I was kind of uh, in a I was under the impression for quite a while, for the first two weeks or so. What surprised me the most when I came to Rochester was probably all the red brick all around campus. Um, I had heard of the George Eastman myth, I guess, that um, he had three pre prerequisites before uh, donating a huge amount of money to our school. And I did know that the red brick um, building was one of them, but I didn't think it would be true and the fact that it was true was pretty amazing for me. I was initially expecting a small relatively suburban environment but when I stepped out into the city of Rochester and on the campus of the University of Rochester it gave a lot of diversity and it had a lot to offer that I wasn't expecting. So my favorite place off campus is actually the Genesee Valley Park in the Erie Canal. Um, I love running along the Erie Canal Trail. I've gotten into running lately, and it's something that I was able to do and get out and experience the city of Rochester while still being surrounded by nature. My favorite place in Rochester is the Little Theater in downtown Rochester. It's absolutely beautiful. It's a nice little independent theater that shows indie films and flicks that aren't usually in blockbuster theaters. I love going there with my friends. It's also got a really quaint little cafe uh, that sells really great chai tea, so I would definitely recommend it. Off campus, uh, I would say my favorite place is probably Dinosaur Barbecue. It's a um, restaurant, it's a classic Rochester, um, something that uh, you have to visit if you come to Rochester. My favorite spot would probably have to be Java's. It's a cafe near Eastman. Um, I remember uh, I was walking by there to go to the tax office to fill out some paperwork, well, because I'm an international student. Um, so yeah, I just came back, went and grabbed a scone, a cup of coffee, and it was just a nice morning. 